always want to stay on Friday morning, and we never do Friday assemblies then. But we kind of thought, because the footballers are playing behind closed doors, we thought we should have an assembly behind closed doors. Because, as you know, I love Friday afternoons. Because it's the time of the week when I get to see all the hard work, and we get the certificates, and we get the head teacher pencils, and we get the golden medals, and we clap. And if you look around,
Anastasia in the butterflies class. She did some really nice artwork on colour monsters and she did some lovely writing based on a poem book, which is one of my favourites, called A Commotion in the Ocean. <coughs> now, when I taught a reception class, that was one of my favourite books, and it really did take me back to when I had my reception class. And then it made me really old, because I remembered that all my reception class now would be about 23. <gasps> my word, how did that happen? So, Tatia, your writing was absolutely fantastic. In fact, we kind of had to look at it very carefully and think, is this really somebody in reception? So we've got Tasia for being Captain Creative, making her colour monsters, and Captain in Charge for planning her work on the book, Commotion in the Ocean. Question three. Okay, you're going to have to listen carefully to this. So, there's a lovely boat that's about to go into the ocean and it's departing at 9.30. It sails for two hours and then it stops. And for one hour, everybody on the boat does some fishing. And then for another hour, they have some lunch, got a pool box, all sorts of lovely things in there. And then they go back, but it only takes them one and a half hours to get back because the wind's behind them. My question is, if they left at 9.30, what time did he get back? That's question three. Well done, Ava in Laybirds. Now, <clears throat> I like my non-fiction <coughs> and I like my fiction. This was a really good piece of non-fiction writing. And I love finding new things out. I did not know about harp seals. Apparently, According to, according to Ava in the Ladybirds, they can grow up to 1.8 metres long. That's kind of about my height. It's quite scary. And weight, they can weigh as much as 136 kilograms. Thanks Ava for teaching me about that. My question for, if we had four, if we had five fully grown harp seals, each weighing 136 kilograms, what would be the total weight? That's question four. Well done, Austin. Austin, well done. Now, Austin. Times tables. And well done, Austin's dad, for working hard on the times tables too. We saw a brilliant picture of Austin working so hard because Times tables are just so important. One of the things that we love in school, timetables rock star. Maybe it's time we had another competition on that, I'll have a word. Well, Austin has been working really hard on his times tables, and he's still only in the starfish class in year one, so that is really, really good. Because if you know your times tables, it means that you can do anything. Which leads me on to question five. Now, we can't have an assembly without a bit of football, can we? I'll talk about Liverpool in a moment. <laughs> now, my question five is, on Wednesday, Everton beat Norwich 1-0, and the goal was scored by Michael Keane, a lovely flick header at the near post. But the commentator said, oh, that's Michael Keane's fourth goal for Everton, and it's in his hundredth match. Now I thought, oh, I can see some kind of mathematical relationship there. 100 games, four goals. So my question, number five, is, on average, how often does Michael Keane score a goal for Everton? That is question five. You've now got all your five questions. Check those answers. And if you can retweet, the first person to retweet, and while it's a Friday, while it's our first one, I'm going to give a runner-up. So the first two correct answers that come in are going to win a prize. Now, what was that other bit about football I had to say? Um, yeah. Now, last night, Manchester City lost to Chelsea, which means Liverpool are the Premier League champions. And we would just like to say, well done to them. Gosh, that was hard. 
Right, I hope everybody enjoyed that. We're going to do this every week. Home learning, send it in. Make it so hard for me and the teachers to choose. Hope, hope everybody's keeping safe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody. Well done.